Hello. Congratulations on achieving uh, your goal of getting a place to read law at one of the great British universities that offer law courses. Uh, you will know what intense competition there is and you've done extremely well to get to this stage. Uh, law is a really good subject to study. It's intellectually demanding. It forces you to acquire new skills that you may not have acquired before, for example, oral skills, communication skills, negotiation skills, and so on. Um, and it, it provides you with access to a wide range of career opportunities, and these days you can't afford to ignore those. But law is also very important uh, for us to understand the society in which we live. There is no point, in my view, in studying law without asking what is the purpose of law? Whose interest does law uh, favour? Whose interest does it work against? And I think if you can bring that dimension to the study of law, you will have both the practical education that you require to make you uh, fit into the modern world, but also the intellectual skills to think critically about the world in which you are going to live. In this period before you start your degree, there are just three things that I'd like to suggest that you might like to start thinking about in order to get the most out of the degree programme that you're going to start. First of all, don't think about law in a narrow way. Think about it holistically. There is much more to law than simply what goes on in courts or in the chambers of barristers or in the offices of solicitors. Huge numbers of people offer legal advice. There are a wide range of contexts in which disputes are resolved, in which advice is given. By no means all legal advice is provided by lawyers, for example, which will no doubt surprise many people. Secondly, don't believe all the images that you may have of lawyers. If you've seen law on the television, you will see that there are dramas featuring barristers in wigs, judges in gowns. But actually, that's only a tip of the iceberg. Hardly any cases, that important ones for sure, but hardly any cases actually take place in the criminal courts. Most, play, most cases take place in tribunals or in other contexts that you're going to be learning about uh, in your studies uh, as they come. And if you take, and this is my third point, if you take both those points into account, then you will start to see that if you have studied law, you've got far more opportunities to think about the careers that you might move on to once you have finished your study. One of the great wonders of law is that there are all sorts of things that you can do which are not just limited to becoming a solicitor uh, or becoming a barrister. There are, there are all sorts of ways in which you will be able to have very fulfilling careers. And there's one final point. Law is undergoing rapid change at the moment. The nature of practice is changing, the nature of funding is changing. You're going to be moving into an area where things are not as they have been in the past. Now if you want to start finding out information about uh, some of these things, uh, I do actually write a blog uh, which you'll see the details of at the end of this short video. And there are various books that you can look at uh, before you start at university which will set the context in which you're going to be uh, undertaking your studies. I'd just, like you, I'd just like to wish you every success for the future and I hope that you will stay in touch through the blog and let me know how you're getting on. Thanks very much.